Hey everyone, and welcome back to Basketball Trending. And today, we're going to be discussing who has the biggest hands in NBA history. That's right, the biggest hands to ever hold a basketball in history, which is absolutely crazy considering a lot of the people in the NBA are significantly taller than the average person and have significantly larger measurements than the average person. But today, we're going to be talking about someone very specific, Bobin Marjanovic. So to begin, let's talk about exactly how big they are. He has two absolutely monstrous 14 inch hands. That's crazy, because for some perspective, of course, the average male has hands that are 7.6 inches in length, and the average female has hands that are about 6.8 inches in length. It's safe to say that Bobbin doubles the average person. But his hands aren't just what makes him exceptional, even compared to the average basketball player. He is a whopping 7 foot 4 with a 7 foot 10 wingspan. And for those that don't know exactly what a wingspan is, that's how far your overall distance is when both of your arms are spread out. Now this is very important because of course it affects gameplay a lot, it definitely gives you a significant advantage on the court if you have a longer wingspan. This dwarfs players like LeBron James, who is 6 foot 9 and has a wingspan of 7 foot, or Jordan, who is 6 foot 6 and has a wingspan of 6 foot 11. Thankfully for him, Bobbin has used his staggering measurements to his advantage, and he is now a center for the Dallas Mavericks. Let's talk a little bit about him. He spent his early life playing in youth teams in the home country of Serbia, where he's from. At age 14, 14, you guys heard this right, 14, this is still an 8th grader in middle school by American standards, he was already 6 foot 10. Compare that to anyone else you knew in middle school, that's definitely not even close. I'd say the average middle schooler is probably around 5 foot 6, 5 foot 5. He was already 6 foot 10 here and moved up to a Serbian professional team. This was after years of playing with the amateur leagues and he moved up to something a little bit more professional. He played professionally over there from 2006 up until 2010 where he signed a contract with KSKA Moscow in Russia. He continued playing in Europe up until 2015 when he signed a $1.2 million contract with the San Antonio Spurs. He has played in the NBA ever since and has played on the San Antonio Spurs, Detroit Pistons, Los Angeles Clippers, and currently the Dallas Mavericks since 2019. Let's talk a little bit about his career as a player. Aside from his enormous hands, he has had a number of very impressive feats on the court. On March 11th, 2020, he scored a career-high game of 31 points and 17 rebounds. This was in a 113-97 win over the Denver Nuggets, which was unfortunately the final game he played. As I'm sure you all are aware, unfortunately after this game, the season was suspended due to the coronavirus pandemic. As a junior national player with his team in Serbia, Marjanovic won multiple gold medals at the 2007 FIBA Under-19 World Championship and the 2008 FIBA Europe Under-20 Championship. During his time with the Serbian national basketball team, he came in 8th place at Eurobasket 2011, which took place in Lithuania. After all of this success though, he did unfortunately face a type of setback. In August of 2015, the San Antonio Spurs prohibited him from playing for the Serbian national team at Eurobasket 2015 due to their fear of him getting injured. He had expressed signs of pain in his left foot, which led to having it examined. Thankfully, there were no bone fractures found, and he was able to get back on his feet, and represented Serbia yet again at Eurobasket 2017. On this match, they won the silver medal, but lost the final to Slovenia. Over a period of 9 games, he averaged 12.4 points, 4.8 rebounds, and 1.14 assists per game with a 56.2% shooting average from the field. At the 2019 FIBA Basketball World Cup, however, while Serbia was predicted to win with Marjanovic, they were beaten in a great upset in the quarterfinals by Argentina. Aside from his time on the court, he's actually tried out a few different things, including acting. He made a cameo appearance as Janis Crummins in We Will Be the World Champions, a Serbian sports drama film. In 2019, I'm sure you all might be aware of this, he appeared as an assassin named Ernest, who quotes Dante's Divine Comedy in the American movie John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. Now at age 31, Marjanovic still has a lot of time to keep working at his goals and is still the second tallest active NBA player after rookie Taco Fall. In 2015, like I said, he earned an all Euroleague first team selection and like I mentioned, has had a ton of fantastic accomplishments. 
Now, while Bobbin may hold the record for the biggest hands, there are quite a few contenders that come awfully close. Coming in at second place, we have a tie between Giannis and Shaq. Giannis is currently one of the most talented players in the NBA, standing at 6'11", and was considered one of the most overall improved players in the NBA in 2017. Shaquille O'Neal, I'm sure you've heard that name before, standing at 7'1", is also one of the most famous NBA players in history. Having achieved massive success during his tenure with the Lakers and his entrepreneurial ventures, it's safe to say that Shaq has put those hands to good use. At number 3 on the list, we have Greg Smith, whose hands are just under 12 inches. Smith unfortunately never really achieved much success with the NBA and went undrafted in 2011. Coming at number 4, we have also some very similar measurements on Noah Vanle, who has hands measuring 11.8 inches, just under Greg Smith. He hasn't also had much success with his professional career, but thankfully for him, he still has a lot of time to turn things around. Coming in at number 5, we have Wilt Chamberlain, last but not least, and if you're into basketball in any way, shape, or form, I'm sure you've heard that name before. He is known as one of the greatest players to ever hold the ball and had some monstrous 11.5 inch hands. Wilt was a 2-time NBA champion, 4-time MVP, and 13-time NBA All-Star. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Please let us know down below in the comments which one of these players surprised you the most, which one of them of course did you not expect to be on this list. If you guys did enjoy, please consider liking the video and subscribe for more basketball content coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching.